you know, 24, 24 hours later, um, our team raised over a billion dollars in capital so that when we, when we did open, uh, well, when we do open tomorrow morning, uh, we'll be able to kind of relax the stringent position limits that we put on these securities on Friday. Will, will there be any limits? Well, I think there's always going to be some theoretical limit. Like we don't have infinite capital, right? And on Friday there were limits. Um, so there's always there's always going to have to be some limit. I think the question is, you know, will the limits be high enough to the point where, you know, some they, they won't impact, you know, 99.9 plus percent of customers. Um, so, you know, someone were to deposit a hundred billion dollars and, and decide to trade in one stock like that, that wouldn't be possible, you know? All right. <laughs> All right. Well, I guess people really just want to know, you know, if you had no choice, then you, then you had no choice, uh, it's gun fed situation. Um, and you know, then that's understandable. Uh, but then if put that gun to your head, should, you know, be willing to have the public. Yeah, listen, and, uh, you know, I know there's there's processes. This is unprecedented times. And to be fair to those guys, they've been, they've been reasonable. So um, we are, I think the, the one thing that is maybe not clear to people is Robin is a participant in the financial system. Um, so we have to work with all of these counterparties. So we do get a lot of questions about, you know, why do you work with market makers? Why do you work with clearing houses? Uh, vertically integrating and getting, um, I mean, it's hard enough to, to build a introducing and a clearing broker dealer. Not too many people have done that, but the financial system that uh, allows customers to trade shares um, is sort of a complex web of multiple parties, and um, you know, it's it's hard to. I, everyone says, oh, it could be better, it could be improved. Um, it's it's just the necessity of, of trading equities in the U.S. that you have to do all these things. Hey, to what degree are you beholden to Citadel? I mean, like basically, if Citadel's unhappy, then I, I, then what happens? Yeah, so that you know, there was a rumor that um, Citadel uh, or other market makers kind of pressured us into doing this, and now that's just false, right? Um, market makers execute our trades. They execute trades of, of every broker dealer. Um, you know, this was, this was a clearing house. Um, this was a clearing house decision and it was just based on the capital requirements. So, um, from our perspective, you know, Citadel and other market makers, um, weren't involved in that. But wouldn't they have a strong say in, in who got, in charge of that organization since it's an industry consortium, not a government consortium or not a government regulatory agency? Um, I, I don't have any reason to believe that. I think that's just like, you know, then you're getting into kind of the conspiracy theories a little bit. So I just have no, no reason to believe that that's the case, you know? Okay. <laughs> All right. Um, well, wow. I guess we'll, we'll see what happens with future actions. Um, hopefully that wow. was uh, insightful and at least a little bit entertaining. Are you not entertaining? <laughs> um, yeah. Um, okay. Well, um, I, I don't know what to say. First of all, 